Good morning, everyone. Um, so you can tell by the title of this video, um, something happened. I came into the game and was getting ready. I was gonna do a, like a rambling video. I was gonna just do one of my regular, just weird videos. And I was probably gonna go do work on the castle that's over there. And I was doing my usual, I do a flyby you can hear Odin in the background doing his regular... See, you can see the castle. It's right over there. Ha! Ah! I was also doing a tour for Carino. Um, but I was doing what I usually do, which is a quick run around the village to get these blank areas filled in. Because I don't like... Really, Odin? You just have to open the door. You really do? You do? Okay. Open the door. Close the door. And then he's going to reopen it and like... Five, four, three, two, one. No, he's actually standing at a door looking in. <laughs> oh my god. So anyway, that's the eagle's nest over there, which is in an earlier video. I did a tour of that. But I did my normal skin. Then he opens the door. <laughs> hey, I don't want to hear the kids screaming or the anime they're watching, which they're watching Zombie Land Saga something and I was doing my regular you know just speed around open up the area so I get a nice fade out like that and a couple of days ago I came on the server for the Easter egg hunt to collect the Easter eggs so I can put them downstairs and put them in the chest and there was a kid who was having issues he was new to the server and I was like oh, okay so uh, he messed up in grabbing one of the eggs, and I'm like, well, okay, come here, I'll give you the egg. So I went to the outer perimeter of my village area and put the eggs down for him. He was like, oh, I really like this area. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. And he started to build. And I'm like, no, 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 don't build here. This is this is my zone. I, I This is like this whole area is I'm building in it. So please don't build here. It's because it's going to get moved. You're not going to be able to stay here. And then I left because, I mean, I had taken medication. It was late at night and I was like, oh my God, it's Easter. I need to do the Easter stuff. So I did the Easter stuff and talked to him for a little bit, gave him a little tour of the area. And good, you can't see it from here. And I came on this morning, not this morning, but like a couple hours ago and was like, oh, okay. Uh, let's go ahead and do a rambling video or whatever. Because I really didn't have anything in my head at the moment of anything I wanted to do other than to work in the castle over there. I had no real plan, so I was just zooming along. And I'd forgotten I'd build the, the greenhouse. He opens the door again. And I shut the door. <laughs> and then Lily tried to squeeze out. So I come around the edge here, and I'm like, wait, what the hell is that? Why... Why is it? What? What is this? What the hell is this? I'm literally, this is what's going, I'm like vocalizing, what the, I'm just gonna swear, fuck is this? What? What? Who? He fucking built in between a claimed area and a claimed area. It literally, my claims literally come up to about right here. So he built as close as he could to my build. After I told him not to. Now, as to Minecraft servers, the vast majority of ha have unwritten rules. Honestly, they do. We have unwritten rules of you don't build close to someone else's builds. You, you let a person's claimed area be their claimed area. You don't build right up abutting onto them. And he plunked this gross ass build next to my village in my inn and he he ignored what I told him I put all these chickens in here um he built oh my god I didn't even check this this is my access tunnel to my subway system because I told him I have subways that run under here Please, do not build in this area. Just don't. It, the hell is this? 
What? No. See, this is what's pissing me off. This is, no. <sighs> See, I'm, I, I've finally gotten over being angry about this. Um, but this is, this is stuff you just don't do on a server. You, you don't go on to a server and then ignore what... I'm not technically... I'm a junior mod. You don't ignore what someone tells you. And just do whatever the hell you want. Where the hell's my spawner? Son of a... Even my torches are gone. <sighs> so yeah, I haven't explored the whole areas of what he's done. And he, he just irked the hell out of me doing this. I mean, he, oh, just... Yeah, so... As a basic common courtesy, when you go to a server and you're new to the server, you do not build next to massive builds. You just don't. It's, it's basic common courtesy. Um, I'm assuming this is a kid and he doesn't know any better. Nobody's taught him the rules of etiquette, you know, of, of expected things and what you should and should not do in life. Um, and he, he's going to be taught a lesson because he, he has been told he needs to move this. This is, my dog just keeps opening the door. No, no shit's given. Um, but he came in and he built in my area. I don't know what he has done. I don't know if he's chopped down any, I'm, I'm like freaking out. I know he went into my nether and I've had to repair a lot of things. Because when he came in here, he took out a whole bunch of stuff. So I'm um, repairing that. Uh, he took out my robe. I'm amazed he didn't take out my freaking lights. Um, and it's not like I go to the nether that much anymore. I don't. But I do have little areas that I like. I really don't come here that much anymore. It's like a Boogie 2988 uh, server. I use the nether mostly for um, getting from point A to point B. And I never come to the nether anymore unless I am in uh, creative. Because I don't want to lose anything. And it just became a habit to not come to the nether. Because I don't want to lose my crap. You know? So I didn't come here. Uh, this is my little nether area. Um, I thought I had a fence here. So he came in here and I know he has grabbed some stuff. But I'm not sure from where. Do they used to be here? But I don't even remember. See, I don't mind this so much for the simple fact that I'm not here often. I know I'm missing villagers, but they could have just roamed off wherever they damn well pleased. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's the basic common courtesy that you, you jump onto a, a server and you follow the rules and you don't build up close to someone else's build area. You just, you don't do that. It, it's a basic common courtesy and I was raving mad because he built that portal and you saw we went in to that portal at his base. We come out of mine. So which means he has access. Now he can't get into anything here at all. But it just it's I'm trying to think of a good word. I feel violated that I explicitly told this kid not to build in my area. To not build here. Because 
as all of you know, I, I will actually give you a tour of everything that is around in this area. I'm not going to use the map. I will show you everything. Now we have my village here. Hold on. We'll turn it to morning. We have my village, which is my Viking village, and I'm very, I'm very much about aesthetics. I want the aesthetics of my village. I don't want to be looking out over my village and see this monstrosity of a build that this kid built. Like, look, does this fit? with my build. This does not fit. This is not, when I come to do my videos, I don't want this thing sitting in the, mm -hmm. so yeah. And so I have a certain aesthetic that I follow. Um, that's, is that one of my tombs? I have a tomb that, oh, there's the tomb. It's right there. But like, I got kind of upset at myself for, we have my Viking village here. Sadly, when I went into the nether, it erased all my rendering. I'm kind of upset at myself for building the eagle's nest so close to the Viking village. But it kind of fits. It just sort of fits in with the medieval, you know, look. But then, as you can see, as we keep going further this way, I, I build these roads so it's easier to get from point A to B when I didn't have creative, when I wasn't a junior moderator. And then we got the castle I started working on. And then you come up here and you follow the road and it takes us to uh, Westworld, which is over here. And again, I don't know if I've done tours or let's builds of this. This is all stuff I'm gonna be doing over the course of the next year as we're probably gonna have to reset the server. I'm I mean, I hate, I hate the idea of having to do that, but, you know, with all the, good lord, they have that TV playing loud. We, with all the changes that are coming up with the new expansion or whatever you want to call it, new patch, um, I don't think we're going to be able to transfer or keep this as is, I think we're gonna have to start a new server, which means a whole new build. Which means you guys get to see me build a village from scratch or a town from scratch, which is gonna be really cool. So this is my old West Town. Again, I don't know, wow, that is really loud. I don't know, can you guys hear that? Let me know in the comments below if you could hear the music from this show because it's really loud and they're really loud but um yeah this is like my bathhouse uh the stables i believe that was the store that's the saloon it's based on the gym uh the inn is another one based on deadwood bank jail just a house with another stable down there because you know a lot of these places have lots of um stables and so, so we now know, okay, God, you can see it from here. Wow, that looks so cool. That it renders that far, wow. Okay, so let's go up and over the mountain or through the mountain, that works too. Then we come over here and you will see, I believe on the left hand side, we should be rolling up on it in a second, is my medieval castle. I've been sort of playing around with it. I just got the wall, that's it. I was messing around with the ideas of how to build a wall and make it look neat. That don't look freaking cool. I like it. And I haven't done anything behind it. It's all stuff that if and when we have to do a reset, it's plans in advance for um, a new village, basically. Then we come over here and we get to our starting area where I originally started at. Uh, I originally started way over here. This is where I settled initially. And then when we went to transfer my builds uh, from the old server, oopsie, it de-rendered. Um, I ended up over there, uh, close to the water, because I wanted the castle kind of overlooking the water. But this is the area I started in. 
because I thought it was neat having a temple mixed with houses. Uh, it was like a glitch in the matrix. I really loved the aesthetic. So then, and then if we continue down this road, we have the cats freaking out. But if you continue down this road, <laughs> Lily going after Poser. She's all like, hell no, get the hell away from me. But down here, I kind of got an idea of Egypt and I wanted to do a couple of pyramids and then I just sort of went, yeah, and quit. Um, okay, good. All right, so the kid has gotten the message. He knows he needs to move it, so. Which, I mean, I thought I had explained to him that I had this whole area was basically claimed by me that I do massive builds. And I like aesthetically to have large areas in between so you don't get that blend over. Um, I also, way over here, have this really weird build that I was doing. Hi, Odin. Yes, you opened up the door so we get to hear the kids playing their show more. But there's... God, where is this? Because I've lost the road. And you knocked a can out of the garbage. Good job. I was thinking about doing a Roman village. Yep. God, they got that going real loud. And of course, I can't shut the door because, it would, and now I'm officially lost. So let's do home desert. All right, so easiest way to do this is we're gonna go straight across from here because I know that I, well, I don't know. I really don't know if, the, if I can find the road on this side because there's two roads that go parallel with the villages um, one leads to the pyramids yes there it is and then this one is the one that I started to extend with the idea of making a Roman village unfortunately down here there really just didn't seem to be an area that called out for a big enough area to make a Roman village at all but i did make and now get oh hey i know what that is that's my skeleton generator hey i found something hi and now i'm completely lost again <laughs> so yeah um but yeah this goes under my skeleton generator uh I'm assuming that's where the village is. That's where that village is. But I mean, it's basically, it's just a straight down square hole that goes down to bedrock. And I was gonna make this real elegant village built into the sides of the wall. And it was again, it was another thing I started and then I just sort of lost, there it is. I lost my steam and I just decided, eh, and I don't think I really got anywhere on it. I think I literally just got as far as filling it in, getting the grass, and then I just sort of puttered out because then when I really looked at the size, I went, you know, it's not really that big. It's actually really freaking small and you really can't do much with this. You know? And I, it was funny because I built it with using dynamite and I thought as I was building it, it was a lot bigger. But again, this is why when when you go into a server, someone who has huge builds like what I have, you don't just build right up to their their area. You you don't invade their space because you don't know what their plans are. You don't know what they plan to do. You don't know if they plan to expand out in that area. They might not have claimed it yet, because we do have the ability to claim on our server, but you don't know. You don't know. I mean, I already have a building here. You don't know. I might decide to build a little bit more going closer to the, the village. But you, after being told don't, and 
It irks me too because he he built around my lamppost. Like it just. I mean, if you were gonna build here, at least build in the same style. And, and I wouldn't have had a problem with that. You know? You, yeah. And you don't build right up on the road. You you build back from the road. And, and you build so it is, and it is so close to my build. And I told him not to. So, I mean, again, just when you play Minecraft, take into consideration the other people on the server. Take into consideration the amount of effort that goes into building these massive let me switch this to morning again if you come across a build like this and you build like this don't don't build next to it wow you can actually see the desert town that's pretty cool just you, you don't you, you don't build close to other people's builds. It, it's it's not usually in the rules of the server, but it's considered Minecraft etiquette. It has been part of the etiquette since Minecraft came about. Uh, unless you are in um, an area like, say, um, hold on. Here, which has been set aside for everyone to build right near each other. We have got tons of builds, bizarre builds, weird builds, people who built all over the place here. All different kinds. This is Middletown, there is a video on a tour of this. Uh, there have been new builds added. Uh, that's new, down here. That is new. Uh, and it is always being added into. There's people always adding to it. Um, I'm adding to it. We uh, I added the villager store. I also added the wool store. It's actually not even a store. It's just free. Um, there's a whole bunch of stores here. There's a whole bunch of wow. I'm lagging really weirdly here. What in tarnation? That's all the underneath area that Havel did. It's all underneath here. Oh, uh, here's my tower my ship that I'm still building. This is Carino's build, which I'm going to do a tour on this. This is her floating, her, his? I don't know Carino is male or female. Is. Um, she took her build style off of me. I kind of, because she was like, I want to I wanna build houses, but I want them to look neat that they fit in with this. So I did um, a building tutorial for her to him, her, I don't know, oh my gosh. And they sort of followed my style. Uh, and it is a really cool build. It is a floating island. Here, let me go down so you can see it better. And I am experiencing massive lag. This is insane, I don't know why. Let's see, floating island. This is so freaking cool. And we were just talking about it. If we have to reset the server, she don't, they, they don't wanna lose this. And I'm like, no, I fully agree. I don't. I wouldn't want to lose this. This is bloody fantastic. So, if you're interested, I can do definitely do a tour. I'm kind of planning on doing a tour, but seriously though, if you want to see a tour of this island, this is just gorgeous. I mean, literally, I love it. Let me know. Leave a comment below if you want to see a tour of uh, the floating island, Carino's floating island. Uh, and I will be more than happy to do it. But uh, yeah, this is Middletown. And this is the area that if you want to be around other people and you want other builds around you, you are welcome to come here and build. This is what it was made for. Don't, on any server, build a budding to someone else's build area. Never do that. At least put a couple of hundred blocks in between you and the other person. And ask them beforehand. Is that the gravel tower? But you ask before you do it, you know? Yeah, that is the gravel tower. Wow. 
God, hello. Man, you get a lot of gravel. <laughs> so yeah, that that's, again, something I just... It's basic common courtesy. When someone asks you not to do something, you don't do it. And again, don't ever build right on top of someone else's build, ever. I've had it happen twice. Uh, this is the second time. First time was on the old server, pre um, this server. And I made a Viking longhouse, very much like the one uh, that is in my current village. And they built literally abutting it. And they built up one of my uh, evergreen trees, spruce trees. They built up it and we're building a weird floating castle on the very top of it. And it was right next to the world uh, villager store, my build and the area map. They, they built in a small, it was like maybe a 20 by 20 block of unclaimed area and they built on it and then they proceeded to dump lava down the sides and then because they got pissed because I said something about it they dumped lava all over the map all over the tunnels they went crazy dumping lava everywhere and it got them booted from the server but again don't do crap like that just don't why destroy something or Destroy an aesthetic just because. That is just stupid. I mean, thinking about the amount of two years worth of work in that village that I did, and this kid, after I told him, no, don't do that, ignored what I asked and went ahead and did it. He just, I mean, it's two years of work to do this. I mean, it took me almost two years to finish the manor, and I still haven't finished it. And he just, eh, you know, I don't care. I'm going to build it here. Even though he told me not to, I'm going to do it anyway. And he had the audacity to tell his friend, yeah, I moved to Leela's place. No, you didn't. I didn't give you permission. I didn't say you could. So don't do this. Don't ever do this on any server, ever. Always ask permission, can I build here? and get explicit permission before you build. Because now I had to actually claim this huge, let's see. Ah, how did I not type that right? Home, Leela. I have to now claim, and I didn't want to. I mean, I got enough claim blocks that I can't. I just, I didn't like the idea of having to claim the whole area because that means it's going to be really hard for people to set a home here. I have to claim from my desert village here, going all the way down to here. I have to claim this whole area. And it's like, why? Why? Or, or do I just not invite people to come take a look at my bills anymore? And that's why we can't have nice things why people can't be nice, because people abuse the system. Wow, the castle's not even there. I'm gonna have to actually go and um, remap that. So yeah, just in the future, if you're on a Minecraft server, ask if you're near someone else's build, if you can build there. If they say no, respect that. Go somewhere else. All right. I hope this was a good lesson. I hope you guys learn that, you know, you have Minecraft, a huge world you can build in. You don't need to enroach in someone else's area. You just don't. Be kind, guys. You wouldn't like it if someone did it to you, would you? This is what they say in the Christian Bible. Do unto others as you would unto yourself. I think that's how it goes. I don't know. I'm not a Christian. I mean, my heathen ways? I should have torn his whole building down. But I'm a parent, so I didn't. Giving him a chance. If he took the chance, he's going to remove it.
probably would have saved himself some time if he hadn't have done it. But anyway, that's the lesson for the day. Hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you guys next time. Um, I don't know. I just kind of threw me, so I, I don't know what I'm going to be doing um, for anything at the moment. Um, I have a plan of making a. It's a Scottish manor house. It's all stone, and I, I'm thinking about building that. But I'm not quite sure where I want to put it. So that's going to be the next challenge. And if I do, it will be a let's build. So I will do it as a let's build. Um, but yeah, we're good. I hope to see you guys next time. Um, I will be coming up with a video shortly of a uh, movie called Underwater. I just recently watched it. It's a new release. It's got Kristen Stewart in it and TJ Miller. And I'll let you guys know what I thought of that. Uh, what else is coming up? There's a couple. There's Nobody. Uh, the movie Nobody's coming up soon. Uh, we had The Winter Soldier. Uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Uh, Superman's gone. Resident Alien is off air uh, until the new season. Uh, Superman will be back until May. So I'm like, crap, I gotta find a TV show to watch. I don't have anything. I have Taskmaster. So I might do a quick recap of a couple of episodes that they did and do that uh but there's only 10 episodes so it's another 10 episode or wow that explosion got really loud from the living room uh but beyond that i gotta figure out something to watch so if you guys have any recommendations let me know um i'd be happy to you know try watching something and then actually give you a, somebody recommended rain uh a couple months back i made it maybe 15 minutes into it maybe i'll do an episode on that I'm just the first episode of it and just like wanting to blow my brains out. Yeah, well, that might be fun. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Um, hit the like button, subscribe, pass it around too. I mean, like I said, I wouldn't mind getting to 100 subscribers. I just found out yesterday I need a thousand subscribers to get freaking monetized. I'm like, really? How am I gonna get a thousand? You know, I'm 52. Who's gonna wanna listen to a 52 year old? Who'd wanna watch a 52 year old? blather on about movies who want to listen to a 50 year old talk about video wait a minute people there's how, how many fucking fans does boogie have and he's not as honest as i am i mean i'm i'm open and i accept my faults i accept when people point out like there was an earlier video uh the spanish princess um i don't know much about the birthing process and someone pointed out that i got some of the information wrong oh okay i didn't know that all right so i don't mind criticism feel free drop a crit on me i don't care because if it is something that hurts my feelings and i'm just gonna ignore it you know like whatever <laughs> you're one person who i haven't made happy whatever there's what eight billion more people on the planet Pfft, whatever so anyway have a great day guys I'm gonna go smack some kids because they're making a lot of noise down there <laughs> and they're watching something called Zombieland Sagas uh, and I'm not sure about what next Sunday's movie is gonna be they haven't decided yet so I don't know and I don't know what I'm gonna pick I'm thinking about the original 1953's War of the Worlds versus Tom Cruise's War of the Worlds thinking about that thinking I've got a couple ideas of movies I haven't seen in a long time. I wouldn't mind seeing again. I know we watched them. I think we watched them. Did we watch them? I might, I might just do a review of them. Because it's been, you know, it, it's the whole, like, movie stuff, you know? Things you watched as you were a kid and you have, like, Beverly Hills Cop. I hadn't watched that since the 80s. And it was so funny watching it again and just seeing the stuff I remembered as a kid, seeing the way we dressed and going, oh my god, yeah, we dressed like that. Holy crap, yeah, wow. You know, and like, I look at what I have here in my room for movies, most of it's all British stuff. Um, I got The Crow. I do, I got mostly British movies. I think I got a Harry Potter movie. We are talking about doing a Harry Potter once a week. Like on maybe Tuesday or Wednesday, like start a Harry Potter movie and watch that. So I'm thinking about doing, you know, doing these Sunday night movies and then doing a a series of movies and going back and watching these movies that we loved. 
in looking at it now, however many years later. But eh, anyway, I rattled on long enough. You guys know me. I'll talk forever. Um, but hit the like button, comment, subscribe. I'm going to go beat some children because you can hear them getting louder. I will see you guys next time. Have a great day.